Hi, I'm Rob Harris. I'm your host of the show, Five Minutes of Fame in Fenton. Thanks for coming back to, uh, to join us today. Hey, you ever have a conversation with, uh, with people that you know and uh, you discover that they are just immensely talented? All sorts of skills and talent. Well, that's exactly what, uh, what happened to me with Darren and Deanna Baker. How you doing? Good. Nice to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you too. So we spent a lot of time chatting about you and all the things that you're involved in. Before we get into that though, why don't you tell me a little bit more about your connection to the local area. Okay, um, I grew up here in Fenton mm -hmm. um, and went to school in Heartland and then after I graduated from Eastern Michigan University I moved out to Seattle mm -hmm. for 13 years. That's where I met Darren. Okay. And um, we had two children and decided mm -hmm. we wanted somewhere a little more um, close to home, close mm -hmm. to family, small small community to raise our kids. So we yeah. moved back to Fenton. What were you doing out in Seattle? Um, I was working for uh, Nintendo Power Magazine. Ninte um, the Nintendo? Mm -hmm, Very mm -hmm. cool. I would design uh, the layouts and player's guides and manuals. For, mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's a lot of fun. Neat. Yeah. And you were telling me a little bit about your, your wedding. You were out in Seattle, but you came back to Michigan mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. get to get married. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, we got married uh, in Fenton, mm -hmm. uh, Lake Shannon area. Um, actually, on an island in uh, uh, Lake Shannon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, we had just plotted out this whole big wedding. It ended up being in People Magazine as oh, a wow. as a groomzilla. Um, but uh, oh, she groomzilla. was a groomzilla, actually. Yeah, because he did uh, the wedding cake, and the, I was uh, very involved. Yeah, in the yeah. restaurant industry back yeah. in Seattle, so I knew a lot about how to do it, and and uh, wasn't finding the right person to help us out. So we just decided, you know what, let's just do it ourselves. Okay. Uh, so we did our own cake, we did our own event, we set up a ferry system just like that was out in Seattle but with uh, pontoon boats yeah. and, and kind of made that happen and it ended up being a whole lot of fun. We got our mm -hmm. friends involved and everyone really felt a, a big part of that. Mm -hmm. Was that your first taste of Michigan Day? It was really my first taste. I mean I okay. had visited a couple times beforehand yeah. but this was the first time to spend more than a couple days at Christmas here. Awesome. Uh, it, it ended up being about two weeks that we were here kind of planning and building and, and getting okay. everything going and mm -hmm. and uh, So Dan uh, didn't have too hard of a time talking into moving out really yeah, back She did here. it first. <laughs> I love Seattle but you know yeah. I, I knew the importance of, of the family aspect of it mm -hmm. and the school systems and and everything are really really good here mm -hmm. uh, comparatively speaking and and uh, we've we've just really come to love it since awesome. then, so yeah and then so you're obviously very 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 creative people um, what, what's been your creative outlet here lately a lot of it is is in different aspects she's more on the two-dimensional side I'm mm -hmm. more on the three-dimensional side and then we try to combine that as much as we can okay uh, mm -hmm. and still be a happy married couple all right um, <laughs> which is sometimes the biggest challenge yeah. of it all coming up with the ideas and making things happen that's not the biggest part just agreeing on what the best course of action is uh, uh, but our biggest creative outlet uh, for Deanna has been a lot of the graphic design stuff okay. and then mm -hmm. from for me, it's been more of the three-dimensional builds, uh, anything from toys and boxes and playful, mm -hmm. whimsical things to large pieces of furniture to uh, cafes, restaurants, and residential mm -hmm. work. So we'll start with the that. graphics. On a lot of times, it's um, doing redoing or rebranding a company, yeah. and then um, bringing Darren in on remodeling the whole. Um, like right now, we're doing a couple of different cafes, okay. and so. I started with rebranding the company, and then um, Darren and I will come in and re, um, redesign sure, the cafes. Or, yeah. So you say two dimensional. So you're working on things like the uh, the logo design, maybe menus or brochures, yeah, things of that yeah, nature, uh -huh. packaging, yeah, packaging if that's part of mm -hmm. it. Three dimensional. Now you're showing me um, what your website. What's your website? dbdesignsit.com. DB designsit.com mm -hmm. and that's mm -hmm. where like those furniture pieces and everything were mm -hmm. and so that's what is that that's kind of what you're talking about with the three-dimensional art mm -hmm. yeah a lot of uh -huh. it is is uh, sort of a, a, a unique perspective a lot of people will want something mm -hmm. but uh, it's not just a simple carpentry piece it mm -hmm. needs embellishments it needs to be over the top and a lot more people are looking for that sort of thing and they just don't really know where to go okay mm -hmm. that's really where we come in and we specialize you dream it and we'll do it yeah, and it, it could it be happen. it could be wood it could be clay it could be just a small little box thing or yeah. it could be just 
giant and oversized and fiberglass with metal framing. I mean, there's a lot, a lot of different of things that we do. Whimsical. Well, okay, well, whimsical. like what were some of your favorite pieces that you were showing me on, on the website? Is there specific projects or pieces that you did? There's a couple pieces. Some of the furniture pieces mm -hmm. uh, uh, were wine boxes, uh, wine cabinets made out of wine boxes okay. were some of them. Uh, those are actually a little bit a little bit more of the subdued things. Yeah. Uh, if you look at some of the small, I don't mean jump in, but the one that, um, that that really stood out for me was the game table that you you what up what is what's uh -huh. upcycled uh -huh. from a coffee up table, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Talk, tell me a little bit more about because that well, was really cool. Looking. We are uh, one of our guilty pleasures is we're dumpster divers, okay. and um, <laughs> we'll find something that somebody is throwing away, and we see treasure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So took this really bad '70s uh, side table. Yeah and cut it up, carved it up, uh, and, and built a, a game table out of it. I mean, it's got spikes coming out. It's got, I mean, it's like, okay, I'm going to beat you in chess here. Right. It's got its own pieces, chess pieces, checker pieces, mm -hmm. and it is the way it's painted and the way it's cut up. It's just very different, very unique. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, uh, great for a man cave. Yeah. A mm -hmm. lot of fun for a kid's room, you know. And those pictures were on that dbdesignsit.com site, right? Mm -hmm. I believe so. Is that on there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That should be on and, there. Uh, um, Another one of our sites is uh, Creative View, yeah. where we have some of that stuff on there, because we like to teach people how they can do it as well. So, so if you're on Facebook and seeing us on Facebook, look up Creative View, and you've got the Facebook page mm -hmm. right Creative there. Creative Studios. Okay. Oh, uh -huh. sorry. Creative View mm -hmm. Studios. Okay. Uh -huh. And um, we love to teach um, kids and adults how to do this kind of thing. Because you were telling themselves. me that's really your passion, right? Yeah. This yeah. This is the teaching uh, yeah. and... Mm -hmm. uh -huh. With kids, with uh, it being cut out of the school systems a lot more these mm -hmm. days and, um, you know, studies show that that's not um, beneficial. That yeah. actually uh, doing more art is, is helps not only express themselves, but it gets out that... that um, that energy that yeah. just everybody's born creative and that's kind of our saying on there is we were all created to create exactly so. which is one of the reasons why i'm doing this uh, show five minutes of fame and fenton my job in, in the regular course of business is pretty analytical so i need this creative outlet <laughs> which is great that's why i love talking to you creative people um we've we've already used it more than our five minutes just yet but do you have any any final thoughts that we'd like to share before we wrap up um, one thing we're getting involved with here in Fenton is uh, coming up October 24th. It's called Nightmare on Mill Street, okay. and it's a benefit for the Fenton firefighters. Oh, yeah. And so Darren and I are um, donating our time and efforts mm -hmm. to create just a fun, crazy, elaborate uh, theme for them. Okay. So uh, you can come see our, our work. And that type of work, too, if there were people out there that, that wanted to employ you to create that for parties or events. Mm -hmm. Is that something you do? Absolutely. We do. And Absolutely. we do a lot of um, kids' parties as well. Mm -hmm. and Fantastic. It's not only a paint and pour, like Darren explains it, a paint and pour, pour like on steroids. Right. 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 Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. the drugs out of it. <laughs> so right. so uh, it's um, just, you know, for making hair bows or jewelry for women, women's uh -huh. parties. So a make and take kind of thing. Okay. If someone wants to get a hold of you, use the contact information on that dbdesignsit.com site. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Or the Creative or, View Studios. Or the Creative View Studios. Mm -hmm. And that, is, that, is that a website or, or a Facebook page? It's a That's Facebook, Facebook page. That's a Facebook page. Mm -hmm. So you've got uh, the ways... Uh, to get to get a hold of Darren and Deanna, um, and check out the Nightmare might, on Mill Street. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And you might want to keep an eye out for it is our mm -hmm. um, camper. The we just camper. bought the, a 1955 Duro camper. It was made in Alma, Michigan. Yeah. And uh, it's a uh, it's, it's old and rugged, but we're going to turn it into an, a mobile art studio. A mobile art studio. So we can bring studio. more. We're to we're going to be we'll be bringing the bakers back to uh, to discuss <laughs> that in more detail. Um, so awesome. Well, thanks for for coming Thank on the show, Deanna and Darren. Absolutely. Thank and you. I, Ben. Hey, thanks for giving us five. Take care and be well. Well, that was fun. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Five Minutes of Fame in Fenton. Hey, would you like to appear on this show or do you know somebody that should? Please send us your ideas for the shows at ideas at FentonTV.com. If you're watching this show on Facebook, please click that share button and share this show with all of your friends. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go to the Facebook page. Go to FentonTV.com directly. That's ideas at FentonTV.com. Well, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned and be well. Ah!